Hi, I'm Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and from the Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to discuss a procedure that is rarely done, uh, PCI of a septal perforator branch. The patient is a very robust 85-year-old uh, man who presented with crushing chest pain after lifting uh, at the gym about an hour ago. Um, in the ED, he was sweaty uh, and he was uh, clearly very uncomfortable. The ECG, uh, which you see here, uh, showed anterior ST elevations with infralateral reciprocal changes and the uh, STEMI team uh, was activated. So on cath, the RCA and circumflex both had only mild disease. And Surprisingly, the LED, which you see here, uh, has mild disease as well. And if you look carefully, you can see that the culprit is the stumped off septal branch originating uh, in the high mid LED. So initially, I actually thought that this might have been a twin LED uh, because uh, isolated septal STEMI uh, without LED involvement is actually quite rare. And uh, given his ST elevations and the active chest pain, uh, what I had to do uh, was a no-brainer. Um, I um, wired the vessel with my workhorse BMW, uh, dilated the vessel with a 2.0 by 15 millimeter compliant balloon. Uh, I intentionally kept my balloon uh, kind of small and my inflation pressures uh, pretty low, uh, six to eight atmospheres. Because if it turned out that the vessel was indeed a septal, uh, I did not want to dissect it and end up uh, having uh, to stent it. So uh, here is what we have after POBA. Uh, the uh, patient's chest pain resolved uh, instantly. And the culprit was indeed just a septal. Um, it was not a twin LED. So what next? I don't see a clear dissection, uh, but uh, should we stent it anyway? Uh, PCI of septals are not often done, and when they are done, uh, it's usually part of another procedure. Um, in uh, retrograde CTO PCI procedures, sometimes you have to dilate the septal to get your retrograde uh, gear uh, th uh, through to the, uh, to the other side. Uh, in uh, alcohol septal ablation procedures, you inflate a balloon in the septal before infusing alcohol, but um, your goal is to occlude the septal, uh, not to open it. So again, septal PCI for the sake of revascularizing the septal is rarely done and for good reason. Uh, septals are generally very small and they typically arise at a sharp angle from the LED, uh, making passing stents uh, difficult. Uh, septals are also completely intramyocardial, uh, so there is a higher risk of stent restenosis, especially near the edges, as well as a stent fracture. Um, intramyocardial vessels are also known to be easier to rupture. Uh, this is because uh, intramyocardial vessels have a thinner intima and tend to tear uh, more easily. Inflation pressures need to be kept low and balloons and stents should not be oversized. Uh, this is true of myocardial bridges as well. But uh, rarely done does not mean uh, never done. Uh, there have been numerous case reports and case series of successful septal PCI. Uh, my colleague John Riesart at uh, Johns Hopkins published the first account of septal aspiration thrombectomy uh, in another isolated uh, septal STEMI case. Uh, POBA is by far the most common form of septal PCI and has a 95% success rate in a, a 21 patient uh, case series. Although um, note is also made of uh, higher risk of complete heart block uh, from acute vessel closure. Um, there are also several case reports of successful stenting of large septal branches, and that's usually close to the ostium. And in fact, even rotational atherectomy of septal branches has been reported. A case series of four patients with calcified septal branches uh, was successfully treated uh, with a rotational atherectomy, and this was published in CCI way back in 1999. Uh, so for our patient, we decided to stop at Popa. Uh, his chest pain resolved, his septal was fairly small, and we already had good flow. He did well. Uh, EF remained normal. Uh, the septum was hypokinetic as expected. Um, his uh, high sensitivity troponin was only mildly elevated, and uh, he went home the following day. All right, um, take home messages. Um, so true isolated septal stemmies are rare, and PCI specifically for septal revascularization is even more rare. Uh, but there are certainly case reports of successful uh, septal aspiration thrombectomy, POBA, stenting, and even rotational atherectomy. But um, tread carefully. Um, there is a higher risk of stent restenosis and stent fracture, and there is a higher risk of vessel rupture. So uh, keep balloon and stent sizes small and keep inflation pressures low. Thank you for watching.